CJ Nation? Welcome back to the channel. My friends, have you seen this new 4-in-1 transformative blaster from Busby designed for the Adventure Force Walmart line? It can fire from four different configurations and it transforms in seconds. Check out sniper version. I guess you could call it shotgun version. Check out SMG version. Or pistol version. Oh well, my friends, whichever configuration you like the best, the Max Morphers got you covered. Say hello to the Adventure Force Max Morpher, my friends. This blaster was created by Busby for the Adventure Force Walmart line. Average retails for $19.97 and comes with the blaster itself and 20 long distance darts. All right, my friends, time to go over this pretty cool, neat blaster from Busby, the Max Morpher. It is a spring powered, 10 shot capacity blaster which loads from either side of the platform. The priming feature on this blaster is in basically two different configurations. One, when it's in either this configuration, which is the sniper configuration, or basically the shotgun configuration, your prime is gonna be up here in the front and underneath. You're simply gonna pull back and take the shot. Anytime the barrel is gonna be up on top of the blaster, it's gonna change the aspect and the way that you prime the blaster. The only time you can actually fold the barrel up, it's not like the stock. You actually have to depress this button right here, so push that down, and that actually releases this little clip which allows you to fold the barrel up. You have the barrel up on top, which actually doubles as a sight, okay? Because you can look down here and that'll be your new targeting sight. So that's actually pretty cool. Up here in the front, you're gonna notice this little clip right here, which will actually lock onto the front iron sight, which will actually hold it in place. Once it's in this configuration, your prime actually becomes up on top of the blaster, not underneath. Simply return it to the configuration that you previously had. If you like the barrel up front, go ahead and just pull up. It will release from this snap point. And as soon as you put it down, it'll lock in with this. Anytime you want to move it again, remember you have to push this button. Stock itself has two different shoulder points and overall is relatively comfortable. In the sniper position, this is actually pretty comfortable. I like the aesthetics and the overall ergonomics of it. And overall, the 10 shot capacity is quite nice. You feel like you have enough rounds to operate this platform. I have a medium to large hand. The grip itself, it's comfortable, but it, I wish there was just a little bit more, all right? My, my bottom finger is just on the edge of it, so if you have small hands, this is gonna probably work for you. If you have larger hands than mine, um, or large hands to extra large, you're probably gonna have a couple fingers hanging off of this blaster. I must say, transforming this blaster to all the different configurations is probably the funnest part of this blaster. Um, I really like that ability to just kind of walk around and, you know, oh, I don't like the way this is, let's switch it up real quick, and bang, I mean, you can just go with it. It's just switch it to pistol mode, and man, you're off and running. The blaster does not offer slam fire, for those of you that are curious, but overall is pretty fun. Now, let's get this out on the range test because there is something that I do need to show you. Guys, the blaster claims 100 foot ranges on the box, and I did not get anywhere near that. Now, I have a version that I actually paid for, so I'm going to run through that battery of tests. We're going to fire four different types of darts. We're going to fire Busby, Precision Pro, Darts on Wafflehead, and AccuFake and AccuStrike darts from Nerf. All, right? All four are going to go through this in four different configurations. You're going to clearly see that the power is not really what the box is claiming. Once I noticed that, I went ahead and fired the long distance darts that came with the blaster to see if there was a difference because of the dart type I was using. And honestly, it still didn't live up to the box's claims. And then I got a package from Busby, and I want to thank them for that actually because they basically gave me their whole entire line, which I'll go over later. But there was a second Max Morpher in that package, so I decided to open that one as well because just to see if it was something that I was personally having an issue with the one that I had purchased. So, I will go ahead and fire the long distance darts through the brand new one, and then I'll do a side-by-side -by -side comparison by firing the same darts through this one, and you can decide for yourself whether or not there's a big, huge difference between the two. So, make sure you watch the whole range test so you get all that info. All right, for max effective range, I actually fired the blaster in each configuration with one complete set of darts. They basically all fired about the same distance between 35 to as much as 50 feet in max effective range, no matter which configuration you basically set it up in. So let's check max range because they do claim ranges of 100 on the box.
Yeah, guys, power's not there, there on this one. Take a look at this. This is about five feet right in front of me. Then when we take a look out here, I had those two in the grass and this one right here at about 30 feet. So they didn't fire too well, but that could be because they're old, but let's take a look at the real max ranges. Put the blaster in four different configurations. The road is 80 feet. As you can see, I didn't get anywhere close to it. The majority landed between say 48 feet to as much as about 68 feet. That was with Busby Precision Pro, Dart Zone Waffle Heads, Accu Fakes, and Accu Strike Darts. All right, I do have a headwind that's blowing towards me, so you can take off a couple feet if you really want to uh, for that, but definitely didn't feel that this blaster even lived up to what it claimed on the boxes. All right, I really wanted to come out here and test the long distance start. So I put the long distance starts in that came with the Max Morpher. This start here is at about 58 feet, but the majority went between, I'd say 67, a couple in the grass right there, to about 70. The best start I had was here at 75, and that was the Max Rain. All right, guys, we're coming up on about 65 feet. And as you can see, I have one, two, there's three in the grass. Number four and five are at 70. I got two down here in the grass, one and two. Those are both at about 70. Um, yeah, those three, one, two, and three. Best start I had was right here. This one's at about, uh, about 77 feet. Beginning of the road is 80. So overall, I'm pretty confident now that I've tested two Max Morphers, I'm getting pretty much the same ranges with both. And I've tested with the long distance starts, which they provided, and I also tested with Busby Precision Pro, Waffle Heads, AccuFakes, and AccuStrike darts from Nerf. They will fire everything, but as you can clearly see, it's not reaching 100 feet like the box claims. guys so I'm so glad that Busby actually sent me a second one so I could actually you know test them side by side to see if it was an actual issue I was having with mine because the box claims 100 foot ranges for max um, I was getting more like 75 and that would be usually be only with like one dart the majority were around like 65 feet so once I put both of these on the chronograph as well I was getting 69 feet per second with one and 71 feet per second with the other so that kind of matches up to what I was finding within the range test Compatibility was fine. I was able to fire all of the different dart types um, that you know typically we would use as nerfers. It is an absolute blast to transform this blaster into different configurations. I gotta be honest with you. So in that respect, it's a lot of fun. Now, while it didn't live up to the max ranges on the range test, that's okay. The blaster still has power. It's definitely firing at nerf elite ranges. Keep in mind one thing I overlooked when I was in the, when I was displaying the features of the blaster. Any time that the stock is in the upright position, whether it be this way or the other way, on the side when you're going to load, you're only going to have room to load one dart. Um, when the stock is in the rear position, you will actually have two openings to actually load two darts at a time. So bottom line, 1997 for 20 darts and a blaster that transforms to four different configurations firing at normal Nerf Elite ranges. What's not to like, guys? The value is here. And when it came to my boy operating this blaster, he was not able to prime this blaster at this time. So at age five, this blaster was a little bit too hard to prime for him. But overall, the platform is worth it, in my opinion, for 1997. Just don't expect 100 foot ranges. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful of the Max Morpher Busby. Thank you very much for sending me that wonderful package. Um, I can't wait to get to some of the other blasters that you actually sent me.